Okay, in this tutorial, we're just going to take a look at how you convert from degrees to radians. And I'll step through it very specifically so you can see how I do it. So there's, uh, here's our unit circle again. And I'll go get the grease pencil here. And I'll put in 0 degrees here and 90 degrees here. 180 degrees here. Better put my little degree mark. There it is. All right, and 270 degrees down here. All right, you want to convert this to radians. Well, you know, if you're working in radians, it's easy enough. If you've watched this, the tutorials on uh, radians in my Math for Animators playlist. So you would know that this is the same as pi right over here. So I'll just actually put that in here. This is, I'll just put that as pi, which is 3.14. approximately 1.6 like this or 1.59. Alright, and so if you had this location as pi over 2 for the angle of measure, that'd be just this value of pi 3.1416 divided by 2. And that's why up here this is the same in radians as pi over 2, which mean, which is basically saying it's the value of pi divided by 2. When I say pi over 2, it's pi divided by 2. So it's 3.1416 divided by 2 is approximately 1.571. Right? So I'll just put 1.57 radians like this. I'll abbreviate it RAD. Alright, well that's easy enough if you have, you know, even intervals around the circle, like at 30 degrees, that'd be, you know, pi divided by 6. Right at 45 degrees, that'd be pi divided by 4, because that'd be 1 fourth of the way to pi, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths. But if you have, a, say, a specific angle somewhere, say at, you know, maybe over here, at, let's say 12 degrees, and you want to convert that into radians, then the, you just multiply it by pi divided by 180. I can't find my tablet. I think I sold it at the flea market. <laughs> sad, 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 sad. All right. Uh, so you take any angle and I'll just make a little box down here so we can see it in here. So I'll take 12 degrees. I'll just make a degree mark this time. And I'm going to multiply it. That's a little multiplication dot. I'm going to multiply it by pi over 180. That's degrees also. So basically, it, this becomes 12 times the pi term. You can literally just write it as 12 pi. Or you could multiply the numbers out. You know, you convert pi to 3.14 and then multiply the numbers out. And then you divide that by 180. So there's your actual answer is 12 pi over 180 is the actual value in radians. All right. So if you wanted to do it, you could actually just multiply this times your pi term, your 3.1416, and that's going to be 36 point something, and then divide that by 180, and then that'll give you your radian value in total, what it is. So I'm, I'll just bring up the calculator. Let's just do it. I'll just show you so you specifically see it. All right. so. You might type put in pi times 12 degrees. So 37 point, we'll just use 37.7, 37.7. And you divide that by 180. So then I'll just use this term anyway, divided by 180. Is it good to 0 0.209, 0. 209 radians. So it's a really small angle radian wise. But you'll know that, you know, if that's 1.57 radians at 45 degrees, I know it's 0.785 radians. Right? So 15 degrees is going to be, you know, a third of that, so that's going to be like 0.26 at 15 degrees, and that's why down here at 12 degrees, it's 0 0.20 like that. So it'd be like one fifth of the 16. Yeah, that that works just about right. 3, 6, 26, right. 
So there you go. Just multiply when you go from degrees to radians, multiply by pi over 180. And if you want to go the other direction, just do it the other way around. Multiply by 180 over pi. All right, well, that's it for now. And I'll see you in the next lesson.